Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Season of Anya. Today we are going to uh, dive into the Yoga Magic and Witchcraft series with building a meditation practice. So, where to begin? What do you need? What do you have to do? How do you get started? Guess what? You don't have to do a damn thing. And that's the hardest part. I'm guilty of this when I can't center, when my mind is cluttered. Quick, give me some essential oils. I need some more Florida water. I need this. No, I need music. No, I need, I need, I need. Oh, let me light a candle. But you already knew that, didn't you? The more you complicate pretty much everything with the spiritual practice, the less authentic it can be and the more it takes you out of the moment because then you're like, all right, where's my checklist? I need X, Y, Z before I can even start. And it's not about that. It's about being, it's about being present, slowing down the mind. But it's also about being mindful of what noise does come in when you are sitting down and meditating, right? So it depends really where you're at in this journey. I'm somebody with very, very high anxiety levels constantly in my head, thinking, thinking, thinking. So for me, something that really helped me start my meditation process, um, because I mean, I'm, I couldn't even stop for 30 seconds. So something I would do would just be, you know, when I have this mundane chatter in my head, I would just say, stop, kind of like jolt myself out of it. Right. Some days that helps more than others. Other days I am a lost cause. Now I know I said that it's okay to be mindful of what chatter's coming in, but also if all you're doing is chatter, you're not even there yet. You know what I mean? So to begin, you may want to take a couple deep breaths in. Breath work has been really helpful for me. And that's kind of where the whole yoga witch thing came from. Um, a technique of breath work that I like to do to either get me into my meditation practice or to help me stay in my meditation practice or just prep me, whatever it is. Uh, I love, love, love box breathing where you hold, well, you breathe in for the count of four, hold for the count of four, release for the count of four, and hold again for the count of four. Repeat that multiple times at least for a minute, but that could be your meditation practice in itself because that might be all you have. Sometimes putting emphasis on the breath out, especially can be really helpful. So you could do breathe in for the count of four, hold, and then breathe out for the count of eight, right? There's a lot of power on the breath out because we tend to neglect the breath out. Even right now, as I'm talking, I'm breathing in, breathing in, breathing in. When am I going to breathe out? <laughs> it's, it's a great way to connect. Uh, another form of breath work I really enjoy, and you'll hear me talk about a lot, is alternate nostril breathing. So essentially what you do, they coach to take your ring finger. I don't think it really matters, but regardless, you're going to press on your left side and breathe. Just watch. And alternate and breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. And if you do something like this for a minute, it is really centering because what it's doing is your right brain powers your left side, especially when you breathe, right? So you're actually creating this equilibrium in your brain and creating balance. And then that's kind of that third eye with meditation. 
So I, I love, that's also another huge uh, breathing technique that I love. So, okay, you're kind of in the zone, you're kind of chilling, now what? Nothing, right? Well, I know we're all busy. I know we all have things to do and I don't know about you, <laughs> but I will have meditation jitters, if you will, where I'm so concerned about what's next that I'm no longer in the practice. I may have breathed until I can't breath no more, but then I'm, I'm lost because I'm so anxious about all the things I have to do. So it can be really helpful. Set a timer, 10 minutes. You'd be surprised when you have nothing to worry about how long 10 minutes feels. Um, sometimes I'll be like, even like, is my, is my timer going off? What's, what's happening here? No, give yourself that time. Be gentle with yourself. I don't expect you, shoot, I don't even expect me to really have no thoughts for 10 minutes again. It's about slowing down the chatter more than completely stopping it, but also being mindful altogether. Now, if ideally through this process of meditation, you will have some moments of enlightenment, clarity, maybe visualizations even, those are great. Those are the things you want to write down, take note of. I, I'm a fire witch. I gotta admit, everyone know everyone who knows me. All my all my moon brothers and sisters know. Get me around a bonfire, and I just I'm done. Granted, I don't have access to one of those twenty four seven, so you'll hear me time and time again. Also, talk about how much I love just lighting a candle and gazing into it. Something about having kind of that what they call in yoga that drishki, that kind of um unfocused vision on something such as a candle flame. So helpful for me. Just kind of get me out of my head, get me out of my thoughts, right? And just kind of gaze into something. Um, ideally, you want it to be, you know, a couple feet away. I love mantras and chanting, depending on where I'm going. Again, with that, what's you can create intent with the mantras, with the chant, whether you are doing deity worship, um, personal power, stuff like that. Mantras and chanting uh, are really helpful. Mudras and postures, right? Mudras, there's, there's all sorts of uh, mudras in yoga, which are just like hand postures and and whatnot. Um, a simple, simple one you can do, cross your legs, have one, your left hand up, 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 your right hand cup down on your thigh, and breathe into it. Your left is for receiving, your right is for grounding. Another um, great way to meditate or meditation, meditative spiritual walks. Just go out there, be in nature, absorb, hear, listen. A few yoga poses that I love to do, especially when feeling really um, crazy. <laughs> Shavasana, corpse pose, right? The classic, just. Um, Prasarita Balasana, that's child's pose. That's just kind of where your hips are wide and you are just down on the floor, surrendering, grounding your energy. Uh, and my favorite is legs up the wall pose. I'll just sit on my back, kick my legs up here and surrender. What that does is it changes the flow of energy. It's kind of like when I do this pose, it kind of reminds me of the hanged man, right? In tarot, the hanged man perspective changes everything approach things from a new perspective, a new, a new point of view. Again, things you, you, you will hear me say all the time, consistency, consistency, consistency. Seriously though, 
I'm not expecting anyone to be able to meditate for a long period of time. I can maybe like do a proper meditation for an hour. And that's like after me staying really consistent with my practice for like months at a time. The thing is though, if you don't use it, you lose it, right? So the less you meditate, the worse you are at getting back into it. And the more you do it, the better you are at it. So it starts with that consistency. And honestly, you don't always need an hour of meditation. Life doesn't allow for that. But even giving yourself a true, you know, once you build up to it, a, few, a good 15, 20 minutes of meditation a day, that's when you can start communing with spirit. That's when you can start living your life in alignment. That's when you can start just having more moments of clarity, a little more inner peace, right? I'd say to start, start with five minutes. You might find that just breathing and actually having a rhythm of breath for five minutes is more than enough. Start there, start small, start simple. Um, this is a very basic surface level video. I would love to get into all the types of poses you can do, mudras, we can do breath work exercises, but we're just getting started. So go ahead. If you like this type of content, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. I am just building my channel. You're just getting started. I know. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much for watching everyone. If you have a way of meditating that you like to do, let me know. I'd love to hear. There's so many other meditation methods I missed, uh, that I'd love to talk about further. Uh, in this series. But until next time, with so much love and gratitude to each of you on this journey, thanks for watching.